Okay, everybody, so our amazing week-long journey in Chicago has ended. This is going to be a kind of a recap video and an acquisitions video, but we're going to try to keep it as short as possible knowing that the upload speed is so slow here. First thing we're going to do is go through everything we got souvenirs-wise and stuff while we were in Chicago. And the first thing here, this is a mug that Leanna bought for her dad. It's a Beatles mug. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's a huge fan of the Beatles. I would love to show it to you, but it's wrapped nicely in pay paper, tissue paper, so that when we put it in our luggage, it'll be safe. So unfortunately, I can't show you that because we don't want to unpackage it. I'll tweet okay? a picture of it once it's home and safely. Okay. So now, you want to show us the other things you bought for your family? Got a present for my dog, who was probably very upset that I have left her. I got her a squeaky dog. Now, where's the squeak? Mm-hmm. Kind of looks like her. <laughs> and I got my mom, who is a, a refrigerator magnet fanatic. I got her some magnets of Chicago. Chicago skyline and this pretty purple glittery one. Very nice. Boink, that's that bag. And the other yes. souvenir bag right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Same here. Oh, and another thing my dad is a huge fan of is Da, 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 the Chicago Bears. It's his favorite football team and the only sport he actually follows. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I picked out a nice looking shirt and hopefully he still fits in the large and he didn't get him lose weight. <laughs> okay. Now in addition to that stuff, we bought all that stuff at Navy Pier, by the way. Uh-huh. We also got a few souvenirs for ourselves, if I remember to remember our trip by. Me and Bubba Gum. <clears throat> This is your shirt, Waffle. Yes, I'm going to be wearing this t-shirt tomorrow because I actually guess was so sweaty while I was here walking around the city so much all week that I needed another shirt. So I got a nice Windy City shirt as a souvenir and I will be wearing it tomorrow on the way home to Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And then there's my shirt, which I might also wear tomorrow because uh, I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice skinny purple shirt. We're pretty girls. Mm. Chicago on my boobies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now outside of that, a souvenir that I didn't plan on getting, but I ended up getting when we went to Bubblegum Shrimp. And again, this is something else. I apologize. I'm not going to unwrap it. I got one of the alcoholic beverages. I think it was Lieutenant Dan's... Uh, the Lieutenant Dan. That's what it was Lieutenant called. Lieutenant Dan's pomegranate tea. Yeah. But it was alcoholic, so they gave me a souvenir glass. I'm not going to unwrap that, because obviously that needs to go in my luggage. And I don't want to... picture of it when you get home. Yeah, I That's could. That's what we might do. Now, today, we got a significant amount of souvenirs. We visited Shed Aquarium. So let us reveal the Shed Aquarium souvenirs. Ew. The otter. That is your we souvenir. We saw. That is for me. And the little beluga whale. Oh, so cute. Okay, they're like a couple. That is for you. And then I can unwrap this easy. This is another souvenir for my mom because God for freaking bid. She have any room in her refrigerator uh -huh. for anything that isn't magnets. She loves jellyfish. And it says Shed Aquarium. It's got little crystals and it's purple, her favorite color. Very pretty. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Now, outside of all these, there's one other souvenir which we have not brought to the table. This is from our first day here when we visited Willis Tower. And when we called it Willis Tower, everyone went nuts and says, no, how dare you? Anyone who lives in Chicago still calls it the Sears Tower. It doesn't matter if the Willis Group won over the majority of the leases in the building back a few years ago and they decided to rename the damn thing. They still call it the Sears Tower here because that's what it's always been. You can't change the name of a, a, a landmark, basically. Oh, okay. So what we did is when we were at the Willis slash Sears slash whatever the hell you want to call it tower, we got a few small things. And these are indicative of when you go to a landmark, like a famous, a famous building or whatever, you can usually take a penny and run it through the machines that they have there and make souvenir coins. So we got a souvenir Chicago coin and a souvenir... Chicago Sky Deck coin. Very nice. I think one of us, maybe one of each we should keep. Choose which one we like more. Oh, he's a little friend to keep this stuff in. And then when we went to, when we were actually walking into Willis Tower for the Sky Deck, they took our picture and later on they ran it through their, their software 
and they made some pictures of us. Day and night version. Basically in front of Chicago, as you can see there. Look at my fat arms. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then we got mini then versions mini of versions other stuff. With even more stuff. Look, there's the Buckingham fountain that we saw today. And for some reason we're floating over the water in that one. And here we're in the middle of the water, yes. <laughs> at night in the middle of the water. So four different scenes of us that we got. And you know, we'll probably each keep one of the big ones and maybe give some of these away. Maybe. to our relatives etc so that's pretty much it for our week in chicago tomorrow is going to be a day of all heavy travel uh where we're going to get food for the last time we're probably going to go to wildberry cafe again i don't know if we're going to record that but then we're going to be going to the airport we have a long ass wait at the airport uh our flight is until 7 30 and that's a problem because oh, we got one more acquisition it's a problem because obviously let's say we got to check out here at noon we go get food more acquisitions and then we take a band-aid. Oh my goodness, band-aids. Yeah, for all of our blisters, we needed band more super blisters. Super Mario Brothers band-aids because I had so many damn blisters. I have blisters on like almost every toe of my feet <laughs> from all the walking that we did. Um, but anyway, yeah. So we have like hours and hours to kill at the airport. The good news is O'Hare Airport is one of my favorite airports. There's a lot of stuff at O'Hare Airport to to do. So I think we'll have some hours that we'll kill. We also have our mobile. Like I have my iPhone. Uh, Leanna has her iPad, so we have games and stuff that we can play for a few hours and try to kill some time before our flight home. So we're getting home very late tomorrow. Um, all right, so these are the chocolates that we got. Mm -hmm. Those we got at the candy shop at Navy Pier, these truffles. Mm -hmm. I don't have to individually show the truffles, oh, no, honey. I'm, I'm showing it. And then some fudge that I already Chocolate partially fudge. ate. fudge. Oops, which I'm sure you'll be eating more of tonight. I got it dead. And then today, we rushed... To get to Leonidas, although they call it Leon, Leonidas or something. That's the real name. Oh, I don't right. know. Uh, chocolatier here in uh, in Chicago. To get these chocolates, we picked a, an assortment of chocolates that we'll be sharing tonight. I'm sure we're not eating them all. And there's a jelly there, too. I'm sure we're not eating them all. And, okay. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, so th th we got this in celebration of Leanna's birthday, which is today. Because we couldn't get her a cake, obviously, because we were on vacation. We got her some nice well, chocolates. You, you could have. And we rushed the story is... That we actually wanted to go to a good restaurant for her birthday, but at the same time, we wanted to go to this chocolatier and we didn't know if we were gonna have time. So we actually went to the restaurant, got our name into the reservations, ran across the city, ran, ran all the way down the Mag Mile basically. We ran the entire Mag Mile, got to Leonidas, got the chocolates, got back to the restaurant just in time for us to be seated. It was called the Purple Pig. It was a tapas restaurant, it was absolutely delicious. Mediterranean, Mediterranean tapas. tapas, I highly recommend it. For anyone who has not been to a tapas restaurant, it was definitely a great experience. The food was great. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, overall, I had a great trip. Did you have a great trip, honey? Honey? Yes. <laughs> yes. But I have chocolate, and that's what matters. And, uh, you know, it was fun. It was fun to be able to go somewhere that a lot of people say, oh, what would you go to Chicago for? But be able to actually find, you know, the entertaining parts of Chicago, the things that maybe a lot of people don't go to the all the time. The non-ghettos. Well, warn us about. Every major, every major city has a ghetto. Yeah, everyone assumes though, when you live in Chicago for as long as some people do, they assume when they live in the ghetto that the whole freaking city is a ghetto, and we didn't go to any ghetto. Well, we didn't go to Southern Chicago. That's what everyone Although says. We Southern did Chicago see some is the, the worst version. Well, yeah, and it's it's a, it's a shame because obviously there's a huge homeless problem in America oh, God, right yeah. now. It was sad. And everywhere we went, there were homeless people asking for money, you know, doing different stuff, and it's like it's such a bad situation. And that guy dancing. With the way the economy is right now, that no one had, you know, there are people, and the signs were just so depressing. You know, been unemployed for 20 months, homeless for eight. Tried to find job, no one would hire me. I'm a skilled worker, please hire me and I'll do something. And, and I, you know, I'm on the street. Several women pregnant without food or a home. A guy whose whole yeah. family died in Katrina. God, I'm sad. Just depressing. But, you know, it, it's indicative of the situation. The economy's terrible. No one can find jobs. People that used to be able to live doing this kind of stuff can't do it anymore because they don't have their jobs anymore. And, uh, and it is what it is. But anyway... Outside of that, I had a lot of fun this week, and uh, I think we did a lot of fun stuff, a wide variety of stuff. The only thing we, we had originally planned that we might do was the zoo, but we found out the zoo was literally in the opposite direction of everything else we wanted to do, and we said it's not worth it to sacrifice other stuff to do the zoo. So, mm -hmm. overall, we had a great week. I think it was a lot of fun. 
I noticed Leanna enjoyed all her presents. All the fun stuff that we did. I'm not going to end this video at 10 minutes. Hopefully it takes less than 5 hours to upload <laughs> with our horrible internet here. Thank goodness we're finally going to be out of this horrible internet as of tomorrow. But uh, that's it. So you probably won't see any more vlogs of Chicago. And Friday, I'm not going to be doing any gameplay because we're going to be at the airport till 7.30. The flight doesn't touch down, in, I think, in, in New York till like 10 or later. And then we have to get our ride home. We're not going to be home till like midnight tomorrow. So it's going to be a day full of travel and uh, nothing worth vlogging. So uh, more than likely, I'll be returning. I, I, I've been thinking about it. And I was like, gee, should I play some games Saturday night? And I was like, you know what? I'm probably not going to want to. But I do have some stuff I want to talk about, some gaming news that happened this week. So I may do like a, not a hate live episode, but maybe a mini a mini update episode where I, mini I, live. I do like a stream and I talk about stuff and what's coming up this week. Because obviously I didn't get to do uh, any weekend preview for this week, being that I was in Chicago. And there is some new stuff coming out this week, and my plans for Rayman Legends and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us for our Chicago vlogs. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, in the future, when we do go on trips, which, by the way, will not be for so a long time now, because we are no just... No more this year. We're done for this year. No more trips, no more travel this year at all. Uh, the next possible one will probably be MAGFest in January. If we can get a vendor table, we applied, but we have not heard back yet. But no one has, because MAGFest takes several months to even review the applications. So we'll have more information on that for everyone. So, thank you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday Happy to birthday. Leanna. You have to sing the whole song. Happy birthday to Leanna. And uh, we will see you guys later. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Goodbye.